a lot of times we don't give ourselves enough credit. We do things, we complete tasks, but we don't, we pour into others, but not ourselves. You have exactly what it takes. You may not be that leader right now, but guess what? If God has called you to do it, he's gonna prepare you for that task. When God has called you to it, nothing can stop you or your destiny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are now tuned in to Jaja's mic, home of the world's toughest leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to have you today. Today we have a phenomenal soul, a phenomenal spirit by the name of Nisa Corbin. She's on this impactful empowerment coaching journey. Has changed lives already on a global level. And a book coming out very soon. Originally, she thought she was just going to be touching the lives and the soul of women. <laughs> but God has shown her just how exorbitant her messages actually reach. Through just a phone conversation, I can feel her energy soaring through <laughs> the Apple iPhone. And I, I thought I thought I had all the energy in the world, but I, I learned yesterday I had to level up. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I want to leave this, this entire segment to Nissa Corbin. So I introduce you to <laughs> no, no, no. Nisa Corbin. <laughs> Everybody. My name is Nissa Corbett. I am the founder and owner of Keeping It Light. I provide a service of healing the mind, body, and soul. We all have a calling on our life. God is always signaling us for our next steps. He's always preparing us for our next steps. But a lot of times, we don't have what it takes as far as what we need to get to our next level. So as God is signaling us, He's letting us know, hey, I'm also preparing you for your next level. So when you get there, you have exactly what it takes. You may not be that leader right now. You may not be that teacher right now. You may not be that minister right now. But guess what? If God has called you to do it, he's gonna prepare you for that task. Because guess what? When God has called you to it, nothing can stop you or your destiny. There will be roadblocks constant roadblocks because the enemy is set up to basically put things in front of you, obstacles to keep you down. I took an 11 year detour. I was shattered, but God told me I was not broken. He told me I put you down so I can build you back up, but I'm gonna build you differently from what you were before. That means subtracting your insecurities, subtracting your feelings of worthlessness, brokenness that will no longer exist in the woman that I'm building up today. You were touched by narcissism, but you will never be touched by narcissism again. And there are women out there, when they hear your message, they will never be touched by narcissism again. Your children will not be touched by narcissism again. So when I'm talking about keeping it light, it's not a business, it's not an organization, it's a movement. Oh, you fired up right now. I am, you fired oh my up. God. Keep the fire, keep, okay. keep the fire. <laughs> Keep the fire. Keep the fire. Why? Why is it, is it important that uh, we start to understand ourselves and our work? Because a lot of times we don't give ourselves enough credit. We do things, we complete tasks, but we don't. We pour into others, but not ourselves. I remember growing up, I always was telling people, "Oh, you're good at that. Oh, you're good. You're gonna go places. Oh, you're gonna be a leader. Oh, you're gonna be this. You're gonna be that." But guess what? Nissa didn't pour into Nissa. So today that changes. I ran into something so evil and so dark that it made me mirror what I was and what I needed to be to pursue my greatness. There is nothing or nobody who can ever stop my greatness ever again because I ran into that person. I ran into that darkness. But guess what? God used that to rebuild me and what he had next for me. He told me he had something for me since I was a little girl. 
I told him, I said, God, I want you to use me. But I wanted to pick and choose what he was going to use me for because I wanted to play small. People told me, oh, you shine too bright. Oh, Nissa thinks she's all that. Guess what I am? Guess what I am? But I use what God gave me to help others, and that's what makes me different. Because I don't take what God gave me, and I think I'm better than anyone. No. I take what God gave me, and I channel it into others. I heal others. And while I'm healing others, guess what? I heal myself. That's what I want you to know about Nissa Corbett. When I'm dead and gone, and you're talking about me, and you want to know who I am, I'm that girl who just decided to go for it with her, her imperfections, with her flaws. I just decided to go for it because the devil wasn't gonna block my blessings anymore. He did it since I was young. He always told me I wasn't good enough. I wasn't gonna make it. You're not a leader. Look at you, you can't speak. Look at me today. With prayer, anything can change. With prayer, you can be anybody that God has called you to be. Nobody can stop what God has for you. They may push you, shove you, knock you off your block, guess what? Eventually you're gonna get back on there and God gonna show you who you are. You have to believe, you have to stay faithful, you have to pray, you have to know that God has your back. He sent me here to deliver a message. I was shattered, but not broken. My book is called Shattered, Touched by Evil. And I was shattered after I was touched by evil. But I use that as my platform to be here in front of you today. I didn't let it beat me. Yeah. I didn't let it take me down. I didn't let it destroy me. It may have briefly, but guess what? I'm back up here today. And I'm gonna help others who felt the same way that I felt. Confident women, strong. Yeah. Men too, I'm not gonna exclude men. People who had confidence and they felt like they can conquer the world and the devil sent the enemy to destroy you and your vision because you're going to be so powerful and you're going to reach so many people. He can't stop you anymore. We are waging war on darkness today. I am light. Narcissism it's hard to explain. We all have narcissistic traits. We all have um, traits to help us reach our destiny and our goals. So we have to feel good about ourselves. We have to have some forms of love. But a narcissist, it takes us to the next level. That's the leading part of their personality. Self-love. They put people down to feel good about themselves. So when they see you and they latch on to you, no, that does not mean you're weak. That means you have something within you that they want. They want what you have. You're not weak, you're strong. But guess what? If they keep breaking you down day by day, day by day with their manipulation tactics that they have, eventually guess what? They will feel above you and they will take what you have and you'll be left depleted and begging God to give you back what you need, begging God to help you. Narcissism is it's, it's a, a form of evil. I associate it with a spirit. It's a spirit. They say there's no cure for it. But I'm going to tell you what. God can cure anything in this world. And that's my message for you today. God can do anything when he touches you. And when he tells you it's time. The power of prayer. The power of faith and belief. I knew that God would bring me out because he promised me that. But he also promised me that through me and my healing, I would heal others for generations to come. Not just my generation, but through generations to come, the generations before me who didn't know what narcissism was. The women who died not knowing they were with the narcissist. The men who died who didn't know they were with the narcissist. The children who had parents who were narcissists. I will heal the, the present and I will heal the future. My children won't run into a narcissist because guess what? Mama saw what God had for her and she stepped forward. Did she want to step forward? No. I didn't think I had it. I didn't think I had it in me. But here today, I'm waging a war on narcissism, on darkness, on the spirit of depression, hopelessness. You have no place here.
Okay, I mean, for me, prayer was for first and foremost. Every morning I would get up and I would talk to God. I would have conversations like he was in front of me, like he was my friend. And I would talk to him about the way I felt and where I wanted to be in my future. I would have him reiterate to me his promises to me. God, I'm here in this place. I have no money. I have a quarter in my pocket. You know, I'm feeling the worst I've ever felt in my life. But you're telling me in the future, you have something for me. I trusted the man who abused me. So what do I look like not trusting the God who made me promises, who created me and made me? I submitted that day. I submitted on my knees. I put my head to the floor and I prostrated. I said, God, I submit to your will. Whatever you have for me, let me have it. And I'll go what I need to go through to get there. God, whatever you need to put me through, the darkness you need me to see, the places you need to be, being on food stamps, welfare, going into those places I've never been before. I met some of the best spirits that I've ever met. But if I didn't have that spirit of darkness who tried to destroy me, I would have never met those people that I would help to bring up in the future. I know what they feel like, so I can heal them because I was there. Right, right, right. God has a way of taking you through darkness to bring you to your next level. But God knows me yeah. because he made me. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to trust his judgment and his timing. He said the timing is now. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I have ordained that the time is now. Yes, indeed. You will no longer shriek. You will no longer be torn. Or, or, Gosh. Come on. Come on. You will no longer go through depression. You will no longer be anxious. You will no longer feel worthless. The devil does not have you anymore. I fought the devil nine years. Actually, let me say 11. I was in a nine-year relationship, but it took me two years to get back up Come on. fully. Come on. I fought him. I looked in his eyes. I told him, not today, Satan. You met your match this time. You sent everything to destroy me, and it didn't work. You used my children. You used my ex-husband. You used everything to stop my destiny. But guess what? You lost. Today, I'm waging a war because you are trying to take down every human being as you promised as you promised but today no not today satan we are reflecting the light that god gave on us mike has given me this platform because he is light come on come on god connected him to me on the right day at the right time to deliver my message he doesn't know me we talked one time come on we connected as if we've known each other forever because God makes no mistakes. No mistakes. So I know I've talked about a lot and I know I've delivered a totally different message from what was planned. So I thank Mike for giving me the opportunity to share my story and share my vision and share what God told me. But ultimately he wanted me to share my book, Shattered, Touched by Evil, or as my daughter would say, Shattered touched by evil. Shattered is a glimpse into my journey through a volatile and destructive marriage to a narcissist. It will take you on the ups, the downs, the highs, the lows. It will take you through the, the points of my insecurities, my lowest points of depression, how I went from depression medication and anxiety medication to now taking nothing once I decided to step up and shed that dead skin, which was my relationship. It talks about the struggle. It talks about how I hit rock bottom. It talks about me being a strong woman and still being manipulated and still almost being completely destroyed. I want you to see me now. And I want you to be able to read about me then. I'm not that girl anymore. I'm not that shell of a woman that I was in that relationship. But it's stepping stones. 
You don't have to be all the way to the right right now or to the left. You can be in the middle or moving towards the right or moving towards the left. It's a gradual process. It took me two years to cleanse myself of my relationship and what he told me I was, who he told me I wasn't. Two years. But guess what? Look at me now. Your book is a glimpse into my life and what it was. When you see me where I was, it might be a little shocking for you because I was there. I had to crawl to get back. I had to claw up that wall to get back up there. That's how low I was. But throughout those times, God told me, you are gonna get back what you lost. Those people who used and exploited you, those people who mistreated you and rejected you, they are gonna see you on a huge platform and you're gonna tell your story and you're gonna show people that what they said was lies. Lies that the enemy used to keep you down. Shattered, touched by evil. I said touched, touched, not destroyed, not broken. I was touched, but guess what? The touch by the enemy has nothing on the touch of God. He touched me. He touched my soul. He touched the core of me. He touched me. So the touch of the enemy and the touch of God are two different things. The touch of the enemy is temporary, but the touch of God is forever. I will never be back in that place again, ever. Please read my book. Go on my journey with me. Shattered, but not broken. Thank you so much for your time today. I pray that you'll buy my book. I pray that it'll touch you. I pray that you'll share. If you like my book, share it with somebody else. Share it with your family. For women who are abused or touched by narcissism, a lot of times people don't understand because it's a full disorder. And so you're alone, picking up those pieces. You're on the bottom, picking up those shattered pieces because nobody knows what you went through. Nobody knows the depths of hell that you saw, that you on hell on earth. They say, get over it. They say, girl, go date. You'll be all right. Why are you still talking about this? They don't know how debilitating being touched by evil is because they've never been touched or come face to face with the devil. When you're living with them, sleeping with them, eating with them, having children with them, that's a whole new level. Please read my book, Shattered, Touched by Evil. Thank you so much. Roadblocks obstacles, people, guess what? They can't stop what God has ordained. God wants us out here spreading light, reflecting light, shining on people who are feeling the anxiousness, who are feeling depression, who are feeling suicidal. We're waging war today. The revolution has started. Guess what? It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, Indian. I don't care if you're Muslim, Hindu, Christian, Buddhist, we have to wage war on the enemy because guess what? He's waged war on us. It's game time. It's game time. Oh my God. <laughs>